Vijayanagara Empire, which flourished in South India from the 14th to the 17th centuries, is renowned for its advanced and extensive irrigation systems. These systems played a crucial role in the empire's agricultural productivity, which in turn supported its economic and political stability. The rulers of Vijayanagara were keenly aware of the importance of water management in the semi-arid region, leading to the construction of an elaborate network of canals, tanks and wells that maximise the use of available water resources. One of the most significant aspects of the Vijayanagara irrigation system was the construction of large tanks, known locally as Kerr or Sagara. These tanks were often built by damming streams and rivers, creating reservoirs that could store substantial amounts of water during the monsoon season. The stored water was then used during the dry months to irrigate fields. Notable examples include the Kamalapura tank near the capital city of Hampi, which is still admired for its engineering and capacity. These tanks were often linked with intricate canal systems that distributed water efficiently across vast agricultural lands. In addition to large tanks, the Vijayanagara Empire also utilised a variety of smaller irrigation structures, such as wells and step wells. These structures tapped into underground water sources, providing a reliable water supply even in periods of drought. The empire's rulers and local administrators often commissioned these wells, demonstrating a decentralised approach to water management. Village communities were also actively involved in maintaining and managing these irrigation facilities, reflecting a collaborative effort between the state and the populace. The ingenuity of Vijayanagara's irrigation practices extended to the use of sluices and regulators, which controlled the flow of water from tanks to the fields. These mechanisms ensured that water was distributed evenly and conserved effectively, preventing wastage and soil erosion. The strategic placement of irrigation structures also helped in flood control, protecting agricultural lands from the ravages of excessive water during heavy rains. Overall, the irrigation systems of the Vijayanagara Empire highlight the sophisticated understanding and application of hydraulic engineering in medieval South India. These systems not only supported the empire's agrarian economy, but also contributed to its cultural and social development by sustaining a large population and enabling the growth of urban centres. The remnants of these ancient irrigation works continue to be a testament to the engineering prowess and environmental wisdom of the Vijayanagara ruler.